So let's talk wireless dash cams. So this question comes up quite a bit when people look at a traditional dash cam install and you see all the cables that you've got to run. Number one for power uh, and number two to connect different dash cams like connecting maybe the front and the rear dash cam. And so the natural question is well wouldn't it be convenient to have a wireless solution? Well it turns out the law of physics kind of works against you here. So let's start here first <laughs> talking about power. So every dash cam of course is going to have to have a power source of some sort. It typically connects to like your car battery, uh, your fuse box or something. That way it can be powered while you're driving and then optionally also wire into your car battery or a dedicated dash cam battery uh, to get power while the car is turned off and while you're parked. Now you can always do something like a, uh, a GoPro battery it looks like this and you know have a dash cam that works like this but there's two key issues. Number one is practicality. These give you about an hour of record time or so before the battery is drained and then you got to replace it or plug the camera in or something and so it's really not reasonable or realistic to like have this just as a set it forget it option. Maybe as like a motorcycle solution if you just need something you can pop on a helmet or something, I get that, but not really it's like a permanent installed dash cam in the car. Number two, lithium ion batteries are not great uh, in the heat. These can actually swell when they get really hot, they can actually overheat, and worst case scenario, they can even catch fire. So for safety reasons, it's not good to actually use these long term in really high heat situations. And so for that reason, for dash cams, we just wire them up to the car to get a continuous source of power while you're driving, and then you can also get the parking mode coverage too, without worrying about batteries dying or having to swap batteries. Now, when it comes to connecting a rear cam, well, it would be nice to have like a wireless communication method over Wi-Fi or something, but you run into a couple issues with that as well. Number one, there can be reliability concerns with connectivity and making sure there's no interference inside the car or something, but it could work despite the uh, data throughput demands. Number two, though, if you're gonna be connecting like a rear cam or something, it's gonna have to have a cable for power either way. Traditionally, rear dash cams are wired up to the front cam and they get power from the front cam, but if you don't go that route, then you're gonna have to wire it up to another power source, just like you're doing for the front camera on the windshield. So no matter what, it's still gonna need at least one cable for power. And so while yes, there are options to not have the rear dash cam connected to the front, and in fact, I've done a whole video kind of going over the pros and cons of traditional two channel dash cams, uh, front and rear versus two standalone dash cams, front and rear, you can check out that video if you like. But fundamentally, when it comes to a rear cam, even that one is still gonna have to have a cable for power. So there's really no avoiding that uh, either way. And so when it comes to wireless dash cams, it sounds like a great idea initially, but when you actually start thinking through it, it's not really something that uh, would work out in practice. And so for that reason, all the dash cams that we use these days require uh, cables, primarily for power, but also for uh, data communication, and that seems to be like the best way to go. Yes, it does make the installation a little bit more involved than having like a truly wireless solution, I totally get it, but again, coming back to the laws of physics.